Welcome back to Work on a Super Yacht. If you check out the About section of this channel, you will see that tomorrow marks the first anniversary, which is really quite amazing. One year since I started the channel. And so today I'd like to share with you five things that I've learned from a year on YouTube and how you can apply them to your super yacht career and to life in general. Number one, just get started. Now this one may seem a little bit obvious, but I think it's worth pointing out because so many dreams and ideas never see the light of day because the people who had them never got started. Starting can be scary, messy, awkward. Remember this guy. Hello and welcome to Work on a Super Yacht. My name is Matthew. Poor fella, it's like a rabbit in the headlights, but in order to get here, I had to start there. And so next time you're looking up at captains chief officers, chief stews, chief engineers, head chefs, and you're thinking to yourself, if I could just get there, you know, if I, if I could just do what they're doing, remember that they didn't start where you see them today. In fact, they probably started in a situation very similar to yours. Not perfect, not really knowing what they were doing, but willing to work with what they had and to get started. Number two, learn how the system works. Don't be fooled into thinking that success on YouTube is just a case of banging out a few videos, uploading them to the platform, crossing your fingers, and hoping that YouTube's gonna show them to millions of people all around the world. That would be like believing that success in a yachting career was just a case of doing a few courses, writing up a quick CV, sending it out to a few yacht crew agents, crossing your fingers, and just hoping that the job offers will roll on in. Of course, that's complete nonsense, and in fact, success on YouTube or success in a yachting career actually relies on logical rules and best practices that can be learned. And this is a good thing, because it means that anybody can tip the balance in their favour. The more time you commit to studying the rules and the best practices, to experimenting, learning what works and what doesn't, and refining your strategy, the more you tip the balance in your favour. Number three, focus on giving more value. Now this one's huge, it's certainly been a game changer for me. It doesn't really matter who you are or what you're trying to accomplish, I've come to believe that this should be your number one priority. Not how can I get more money, how can I get more subscribers, how can I get a job, but instead how can I give more value. It should not be seen as some trick or tactic to get what you want. Authenticity is key here and it requires a genuine commitment to serving others. This is what builds trust and loyalty and by continually seeking out new ways to add value, success is sure to follow. Number four, be consistent and patient. What do you think happens if you upload one video to YouTube? Probably nothing. What do you think happens if you apply for one job? Probably nothing. But what do you think happens if you go dock walking every day for three months, handing out your CV and speaking with other yacht crew? I think you can see where I'm going with this. Consistency and patience. When you're putting in all this work but nothing seems to be happening, consistency and patience. When it feels like the world is working against you, consistency and patience. When something good comes up but then nothing comes from it, consistency and patience. Number five, we're better together. Human beings are sociable animals. The very survival of our species depends on our ability to work together. We want to be part of something and around people who share our values and beliefs. What I have discovered is that if you put into practice the first four lessons that I've discussed here, in time the people who believe what you believe will start to come around you and they will lift you up and they will start to carry you towards your goals and your dreams. Honestly, I cannot thank you enough for the support that you have shown me over the last year. The kindness, the guidance, the wisdom, the gratitude that has been given and shown. It's been really quite overwhelming and it's gone some way to helping me overcome a rather unfortunate belief that I formed during high school, which was that I was better on my own, that I couldn't really trust anyone else and that other people would always let me down. It is a belief that haunts me until this day, but I am so grateful for this experience because it's helped to show me that I'm not better on my own. No one's better on their own. We're better together. Now I know that some of you may be thinking, what on earth is he talking about? All I wanna do is get a job on a yacht, so why not just tell me what courses I need? And I've done other videos about that, but I'd like to remind you that courses are the easy bit. 
The routes to becoming a superyacht captain, a superyacht engineer, commercial airline pilot, a doctor, a lawyer, they are well documented and anybody can go and find out what courses, exams and qualifications are required. But I think what's more interesting is to look at why so many people who try to attain success in those professions never make it. You might say that it's because they're not smart enough, and while that may be the case in some instances, I would argue that for the most part it has more to do with the sorts of things I've been speaking about in this video. Those fuzzy, intangible things that are really quite annoying sometimes because we can't see them, we can't test for them, and we can't measure them. But that's just the way it is. That's just life in all its weird and wonderful glory. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you found some value in this video, a like would be fantastic, a sub would be amazing, and I very much look forward to seeing you next time.